Okay, let's talk weaving in ends. Um, so there are people out there that love doing this and I wish they would rub off on me because honestly, this is one of my least favorite things to do. And uh, unfortunately, these patterns do um, require you to cut yarn uh, every few rows. Um, and so there is a lot of weaving in of ends. However, there are ways to do it while you knit, which I think is a, a much more fun way to do that. But there are some, some sort of cautionary things that I wanted to, to talk to you about while you're doing this. Okay, so we're, we're now knitting in this deeper teal and, um, and the uh, darker green, but we have the tail that we're just coming up to right now on this lighter green. And so there's the old adage in, in knitting that when you are changing colors, you need to link them. So you need to take your old color right over top of your new color. Let me do it that way. Old color over top of your new color so that they link and close the hole. If you do anything else and they're separated, when you tug on them, they open. And our goal is to not have um, big open spots. So I can take this color, right, that I'm no longer to use, and I can actually pull it over top of both of the new colors that I am going to work with. And then, doot, sorry, let me just get some stuff out of the way real quick so I can knit. And then I'm going to work in pattern, but I'm going to be hiding that yarn. Okay, and um, and so you can also tell that this was done after my, um, let's see, what how do, how do I say it? This is like the, the row right after I've stopped working with this yarn. So my next color that I'm gonna work with is this deeper teal. So I'm gonna take this yarn under that deeper teal and over top. Then I'm just gonna keep it in my right hand as I work that next stitch. That allows me to both tighten that stitch a little bit, right, and um, so that the stitch below becomes the size I want it to be. And then for my next, that's one, two, three, for my next couple of stitches, I'm gonna do that same thing. So I'm going to take that yarn under and over and then work my stitch, right? Take that yarn under and over and work that next stitch. And then I have one stitch in my other color, so I'm gonna spread those out and I can still take that yarn under and over and hide it in that one as well. It doesn't take a lot of this to, to get it done. Um, it's usually just a few of them, uh, like four or five stitches, whatever kind of makes sense to you in, in what you're doing, um, but don't feel like you have to do a ton of them. Okay, so that is now fairly secure in there. I could decide to come back through at the very, very end, right, with a, a needle and sort of just weave it back against it. Um, in a hat, I might do that. In a cowl, I'm probably not going to um, because I have it secure enough. And I'm gonna cut it with that about quarter inch so that as I pull back and it works its way in, it's gonna work that frayed end um, in and make it stickier. Now I'm coming up on this tail, right? Which is the new color that I added. And so for that, I'm gonna just sort of do the same thing. I'm wanting to make sure that I get it captured. So I'm gonna come in here, finish that stitch, right? And then I'm going to work one more, one more, and now my next stitch will be this same color. So again, especially the first one, I wanna make sure I'm really wrapping around so that I am causing that yarn to go this direction. So let me just show you this. If I wait to do it until I am over here and I capture that yarn when I'm all the way over here, then when that yarn is tugged, see it it will ever so slightly open see how that little gap will open it will open but if my yarn will tug this direction it will close so if I were weaving in right I would take a look at all of my little strands and I would make sure that if I tug and it opens I would go the other direction and so I would weave the opposite let me just do that again I would tug and see which way it opens 
and I would weave the opposite direction to make sure it closes. Well, because we knit in only one direction, we do have to sort of pay attention to are we closing that gap or not. All right, so let me just do this again. Come over here, find my yarn, find my yarn. I am ready to knit with this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just come one stitch before I get to that stitch, come wrap that stitch over, right, that yarn, that tail over, excuse me, right? Work a stitch, pull it a little bit tighter, wrap it over, work a stitch, right? Pull it over, work a stitch. And now I'm coming back to my other color, right? And I can sort of do that same thing. So I'm gonna wrap it over top of that one, hold it out of the way, and come across. And that's gonna give me kind of an odd little uh, thing where it's gonna wrap back through again. I am good with any odd little thing that helps my yarn stay in place even better, right? So I'm just gonna work a couple of stitches like that, and then I'm gonna call call it good enough, right? Um, sorry. There we go. And over here. Okay, and you only have, I mean, it's, you know, always when you're changing colors, there's some paint in it, but you only have a little bit of, of space that you need to do that in. It's not a, a super big deal, but then it, it will allow you to come back through and sort of cut the tails that you've done that with so you don't have them hanging out while you're working. Um, so those are, that's, that's, that's sort of the, the choice on how to get that done should you want to. Hope that's helpful.